Hey, what's up my fellow collectors? Jim here with another figure review and tonight I'm very excited to be taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Batman the Dark Knight. Very, very cool. A lot smaller than I thought it was going to be in hand, but this is the box. It's a nice box. We get a nice picture of the figure here, SH Figure Arts Batman the Dark Knight. <clears throat> Down here it says the, uh, the Dark Knight as well, Bandai. You get the figure in the packaging. Pretty much see everything you get. There is some stuff hidden behind this little part right here. The top of it, you get SH Figure Arts. You get a little open window. On the one side, you get a shot of the figure. The other side, you get a closer image of the figure. On the bottom, you get this really cool looking, you know, Batman. And then on the back, we have the promotional pictures that we saw, a bunch of the unreadables. But yeah, that is the packaging. Let's get him out of the packaging and take a look at this awesome figure. Okay, and here he is all out of the packaging. And guys, if you're looking for a Dark Knight Rises 6 inch figure, this is the one to get. I know Mafex is coming out with one, but it's like not due till next year. And it's probably going to get pushed back and it's going to have its QC issues, just like the Nightmare Batman that I reviewed. Um, even though I probably still will get that figure just to see, you know, but this is an outstanding figure. Very, very well done. Comes with a load of accessories. Uh, it comes with an alternate head. Uh, very cool. One thing to note, um, you do get some instructions. This goes over the head, the hands, the cape, the grappling gun, you know, the, the batter rings. And when you do get him out of packaging, he is going to have little paper stuck all up in his top torso, all up in his waist, and all up in his legs. I don't know why they did that, because they have it like wrapped around the actual ball peg but you gotta pop you know this part off take the paper off pop this part off take the paper off pop the legs off take the paper off put everything back together so that was a little bit on the strange side but you know oh well, I guess it you know keeps it protected or keeps stuff from rubbing or who knows but really really nice figure comes with a bunch of different hands he does have the two fist hands that, he, that comes on him he has two other just kind of um, you know hands for holding various accessories he has uh, fingers that are uh, hands that are almost like you know trigger fingers he has two hands that are kind of like relaxed more you know but a little, little bit of a pose a little bit of a pose to him He's got other hands. It looks like they're just meant to, you know, hold accessories. But all the hands are nice. I mean, it's basically just the black with the sculpt, you know, but, you know, they're, they're done nice. And then he has another pair of hands for, you know, holding various accessories. He does come with two uh, batarangs. They're really small, but, you know, they're done nice. Get a little bit of detail on the one side. And you get two of those, and they are the same size. Comes with his grappling hook, which looks really, really nice. Really nice detail on this thing. Nice paint. Nice sculpt. Really, really nicely done. And he comes with his little, what is it, the sticky bomb blaster or something. I forget what this is offhand. But it looks really nice. I mean, it is a little bit warped. But um, it looks good. I like how they kind of painted all the little like rivets, silver. And then he also comes with this um, extra head, which I mean I don't know. It's not bad. I do like the sculpt of the cow. It looks really good, and the and the likeness to Bale is there. But um, I don't know. It's like you get one head that's mouth closed, the other head just it's I don't know. I like a little bit more expression on the alternate head. But so that is all the accessories. That, I mean, he does come with the grapple gun holster too that is, you know, on him and that is removable and it kind of just swivels back and forth. But all right, let's get closer in and take a look at this awesome figure. What a great, great figure, guys. Look at this. Very, very nice figure. But starting off with the one head sculpt that we did already look at, I mean, it looks good. And the entire suit is done very, very well. 
I mean, it's basically just all black, but there is this hint of, you know, a little bit of silver color, almost like the costume looked, how it has that kind of like carbon fiber look to it. Really, really nice sculpt in the mid section. The arms look really good. The shoulder pads are on a little ball, hint, a little ball joint, and that kind of hinges. They do kind of pop off a little easy. It's a little annoying. But the arms look really good. The gauntlets look really good. They're actually pretty sharp too. Really, really nice job on the suit. It looks great. And coming down to the midsection again, it did a really good job. I like the belt. The belt looks really good. Nice detail in there. Again, coming down the legs, you get a little bit of you know, textured look in there, like especially like right here. You kind of get that like texture. Knee pads look good, the boots look really good. Nice scalp, nice wrinkles. Of course, the, and it continues all the way up the back of the figure as well. Really, really nice job. Like I said, it's basically just the black, but there is a little hint of color to kind of bring it out a little bit and the cape the cape is really nice you have two uh, wires in it that start from right here and go all the way down to the end so you get really really nice play with the cape I mean that comes all the way out really cool and it's a flat wire too it's not like a round wire so you can really only bend it you know in the one direction but it will hold it as well and then we also have two more wires running down this part of the cape so i mean i like it and i don't only just because of kind of how it poofs poofs up right here because of this wire i mean you can kind of force it down but it still kind of wants to poof up so i'm not i mean i don't really that's like my really only gripe about it now as far as articulation, he has great articulation. You do get about that much up with the head, get about that much down, and then the neck will hinge a little bit more to get him looking all the way down. And the neck will hinge to get him looking really, really good up. And of course you get swivel you get nice pivot side to side and the neck will even pivot side to side so great great range with the neck and with the um with the head now as far as the shoulder you do get a hinge that's why these shoulder pads had that little hinge on it to get out of the way but you get nice range with the uh, arm going out you know more than more than 90 degrees of course that swivels all the way around you do get a, a technically a bicep swivel around that ball right there double jointed elbows which work really good nice range and look good too with the you know how they're kind of using the little elbow pad and of course we get a cut right here so we get you know a little bit of movement we get rotation out of that you get back you get forward, you get a little bit of side to side, and then of course you get all kinds of range down here. So with both of those, you get really far back, uh, not so much forward, and then of course you can also swivel there at the waist and pivot at the waist. Uh, the legs come out about, oh man, almost do the spits, splits. Basically just, you know, the ball, peg coming out this way and this way and it kicks forward really really nice kicks back a little bit of course you get the thigh swivel around that double jointed knees look really really good it does get a little gappy right here in the front but you know it's easy enough to hide and then for his feet it's not the best I mean you don't really get any back you get a little tiny bit forward you get the tiniest bit of pivot, but it will rotate, so you can kind of fake that pivot, I guess. And then there is a toe hinge. 
but I mean overall it is such such a great great looking figure uh, the grapple gun does you know attach to his belt if I can get it to attach here am I doing it wrong there it goes so that's really cool so you can have that on there and that will hinge so you don't know, more or less get out of the way um, as far as the other head that's what he looks like with the other head on like I said not my favorite but you know at least it's a at least it's another option I definitely prefer this head. I like how they have the ball peg in the head so you don't have to worry about you know you don't have to worry about the ball pegs coming out of the head when you pull them off because it's already in there but yeah guys it is absolutely a great figure he is a little bit on the short side just because he's you know sh figure arts but he's like six and a quarter inches tall and as far as some comparisons let's get the NECA seven inch joker out so yeah I was worried about that with SH, SH figure arts being a little bit on the short side uh, the joker the seven inch NECA joker kind of uh, towers over him but you know you can get Batman up in a dynamic pose on a stand or something like that and he'll fit in nice because this is a really nice uh, joker figure here is the uh, NECA Batman Begins so you can see, <clears throat> excuse me, how much bigger, or how much smaller, you know, our uh, the SH Figure Arts line is. And um, here is a uh, Marvel Legends. Here's a Deadpool. So you see, he's about, he's about the same size as Marvel Legends Deadpool. If I don't get him falling all over the place. Come on now. God, I always have this issue. I swear whenever I'm doing comparisons, I'm always knocking everything over and stuff doesn't want to stand for me. And now Deadpool won't stand for me. But yeah, guys, that's the uh, comparison. Get, so that, that way you can see what he's going to look like on the shelf, shelf compared to some other figures. Got the Joker. Got the, the two NECA figures and then your standard Marvel Legends. So the SH figure arts is a little bit on the smaller side. But I mean, still, it's such a great, great figure. The only thing I, I, I can nitpick about is, yeah, the shoulder, the shoulder pads are a little bit irritating. The uh, alternate head that we get isn't really that much different than the regular face. But besides that, and those are really kind of small gripes because I mean, at least we're, and we don't get a stand. That's kind of a bummer. I like to like to get a stand with them. But um, overall, very very nice figure, very good. That is the SH Figure Arts Dark Knight Batman. Awesome figure, guys. Highly highly recommended. But yeah, that is the review. Thank you for watching. Like, give me a comment, subscribe. And I'll catch you guys on the next figure review.